part. Okay. Um, aortic arch. And then we'll go up the right side of the arteries first before the left side. So this is your brachiocephalic artery. Then branching off your brachiocephalic artery, you've got your left common carotid, and then you've got your right common carotid artery. And then this is your turns into your um, right subclavian artery. Then after you pass the carotids, then you come to the mammary gland, which is right here. And then is that a block? Yeah. yeah, they're all uh, hidden. Um, the mammary, the vertebral, and the costco cervical are going to be all together. And there's the vertebral. Yeah. And then the Costco cervical is right behind it. I don't know if you can see that with the camera. You're just gonna have to trust me on this one. <laughs> you didn't break the things well enough. Right there. Sorry, point to them again. This is the vertebral right here, the first one you can see, and the Costco cervical branches right off of it in the back. See, there's two. Mm -hmm. Costco cervical colon one is in the back. And then this one coming up is your thyro cervical, and that one's always going up. And then it turns it, well, that's your little axillary um, artery. And then we're going to take kitty. On our cat, it has. Um, open up off of that, then it's going to have your long and um, ventral arteries, but ours branch off, so they're kind of on the same, but you'll have it, the ventral and then the long will go down. Then continuing on, you have the subclavian, which is right here, I mean subscapular, sorry, subscapular, which is there, and then the brachial artery going out into the arm. Then on the left side of the cat, off of the aortic arch, then you have the left subscapular, um, mammary, um, vertebral, right here. It's the first one that you meet is the vertebral. Then the Costco cervical, going up into the axillary. Then you have, this is, goes up to your, oh, Thyro cervical artery goes up, um, and your axillary artery going up. This is that where it should be, the um, ventral artery and the or ventral thoracic artery and the long thoracic, but ours branch off of the same. And then the subscapular is branching down, going down towards the scapula. And then that is the brachial artery going out. Okay, so those are all of the arteries, and then you've got the veins, which are a little bit easier. Um, superior vena cava, moving up to the um, brachial, brachiocephalic, and then you move to the external jugulars, which come up here. These are all the brachiocephalic um, external jugulars. This is the transverse jugular vein the anterior facial vein, posterior facial vein. Um, then this goes to the sub, left sub, subclavian. Left subclavian then goes to axillary, axillary then goes to brachial. And it's exact same on the other side. And then you're as, uh, whatever, as a, as a goes, whatever vein is gonna be. Right here. So if it's still in the um, thoracic cavity and it's underneath the heart, it's the azygos. That's it for the above the diaphragm.